I've re I have retweeted a link to a new video on YouTube from Nigel Cecil. I think it's called 137. It's got more about artificial intelligence and also a, a, a plug for us. Uh, f well, I'm, I'm mentioned and also JD from The Wild Show. Um, I, haven't, I haven't explained the different shows in full to, to Nigel, but I, I might eventually. Um, so this this is Wednesday, and there's another there's a there's a which is the We Don't Know show, and then the, there's the Wild Show, and then there's also a, a drama a drama show. I think I think we started with the Wild Show, and then John came at w and start he, he sort of visited the the uh, the Wild Show, and then wanted to do another show. So that's how this show, the We Don't Know show, started, and then the drama show used to be the storyteller uh, which was just before the wild show but I started to sit in for it and I've gradually found out more about drama or attempting to do that um, but this is this is this is getting very interesting because Nigel Cecil is an entertainment entrepreneur so um, I started out trying to find comedy but let's be let's be clear about this. We're in we're in the world of entrepreneurship in the entertainment scene. So it may it, it you may think it's starting with comedy, but it could go a lot a lot wider and further. And he's been investigating artificial intelligence, which is how this came up. I did a I did a search following reading the the, the Observer a couple of weekends ago. They they the, the this report said that AI is the hot topic of Edinburgh comedy this year and so I looked for on YouTube for uh, AI comedy on Edinburgh and uh, th there were several results but Nigel Cecil was the one offering most content um, I, won't, I won't go into the theory of content marketing at this point but I've, I've mentioned it previously and um, we do have the Like Minds event in Exeter and, and this this last year, no this year, this year it was at, um, at, at the Phoenix, pretty sure it was this year, but we, we had to be at bet, uh, but we we try and follow Like Minds usually. Anyway, the thing is, he's he's mentioned, because we mentioned him and asked if we could use a clip from his show, He's he's very kindly put in a couple of um, stills from our video into his video, and he claims that he has no knowledge of Creative Commons. Uh, there is no legal department in his organisation to study Creative Commons, but I think he's fully understood what Creative Commons is. Um, it, essentially, just have a good look at, at all the choices you make when you upload a video and one of them will be the copyright and you can choose uh, either the standard YouTube license or else you can go with Creative Commons Attribution which roughly speaking means that anybody else can remix it or use it uh, but they have to say where it came from and they can't use it for commercial purposes so if I, if I start selling programs to uh, commercial radio using Nigel Cecil material um, he uh, well he'd get upset now because he's using a standard YouTube license but even if he used a Creative Commons license um, that wouldn't wouldn't be allowed um, but I don't think he's made a lot of progress in what he's um, I, I, this is just my, my take on it and other people may have a, a different take on it but um, He's, he's looking at the artificial intelligence world and scene from a, a, a creative artist's point of view, a performer's point of view. But all he's come up with this week, or this, I don't know how often they, they come out, but in this video compared to a previous video, um, there's a lot of merchandise, some um, sweatshirts and hoodies and all sorts that, that are on sale by the USA trade unions who are on strike at the moment. 
and they're hard to get in the UK and he's he's suggesting that equity could make a bulk purchase so that's that's good that's a very good idea but it's it's not solving the problem in completely and he's also got the idea of um a sort of kite mark or certification category a category that could be added to the advertising promotion for a, for for a performance that would guarantee that it was live had an, at least an element of live live performance when the audience got there and i i, I think that's a good that's a good thing but but the the um the the problems created by ai are are enormous um i i following looking at the 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 paper review on the telly i've invested in in a financial times today it's ri ridiculously expensive but extremely interesting it says that universal and google are in talks over licensing ai made music artists to be paid for voice and tunes are pushed to monetize a threat to the industry so um it's there's no deal and there's no official statement it's just people familiar with the matter and warner music are also mentioned they may have spoken to google so what what sony are doing is unknown but it's interesting it says music executives liken the rise of ai generated songs to the earlier days of google owned youtube when ordinary people began using popular songs as the soundtracks to videos they created the music industry spent years battling with youtube over copyright infringement but eventually established a system that now pays the music industry about 2 billion dollars a year for these user generated videos and it goes on but if you if you can find a copy well, check go check uh, Twitter. I suspect. Oh, look, here's another one. Here's another story. I shall have a look at this story. Cambridge gets the blues over Gove's grand plans. Uh, you might you might invest in a newspaper, or the content may turn up somewhere else. I'm just mentioning that. Uh, where was I? Yes, pay attention to. The videos from Nigel Cecil because he he may just be mumbling on in a similar way to the way I do about um, music as far as we can locate it from Exeter, but he's he's looking at live entertainment and AI and people do talk to him and if there is something uh, sensible to say about it, he he probably will include it. <laughs> 